week, what a week, what a week for the uh, blackly black conscious community, Pat African, whatever they want to call themselves, they change their name from day to day. Uh, black Muslims, uh, Nuwabians, or whatever, uh, Hebrews, is the blackity black community. What a week, what a week. Well, this is, I guess you could say, like, this week has been like judgment day for some of the uh, personalities in the blackity black community. Disappointments and also applause. Also, uh, joy. Now, as many of you may know, I myself, I am a victim of the Pecklewood criminal justice system. So, uh, don't believe that I would have any kind of or find some type of joy or happiness in any brother or sister that gets caught up in the uh, legal system. However, at the same time, when we are foul, especially when that foul is against soul brothers and sisters, since we are not in a position to be a judge or a jury and, of course, uh, execute our own punishment, then the only thing we can do is wait on karma or we hope that our enemy will unfortunately punish one of our supposed to be own that has done something foul towards, towards their own. So, this week, we find or we learn that the brother Polite has uh, chosen to plea, to plea guilty, July the 7th, 2023, plea guilty. Now, what he's going to plea guilty to, we don't know. But it seems as though he's in a position where he's going to have to do some kind of time. He's not going to be able to get probation or anything like that. He's going to have to do something. Also, a plea bargain or a plea deal, regardless, it's, you're, you're saying that you're guilty. And he has perpetrated a crime against a 14-year-old. And there are many who support or who believe this man over the 14-year-old and her mother and their family. And we look stupid because we really should keep our mouths shut until the facts, until things begin to make themselves manifest. But we don't because we love to stroke the booty of these YouTube personalities. We, we give them our money and we give them our support. Then they rape our daughter because the child, whether she is uh, related to us or not biologically, She's part of this family that we're supposed to belong to. And so we are supporting the pedophile. And there are many who defend our foul YouTube personality, our foul supposed to be leaders. Because like the brother said a few days ago, a week or so ago, they're the man of God. And they have a uh, this, this sense. And see... This is this, this, this the thing that makes things messed up. The government does come against our leadership. The government does come against us, but some of us are foul. Some of us, in the beginning, might have had sincere heart, but they turn. When you give people, what they say, money corrupts. When people get money, booty, all this praise and admiration, they can be become corrupt. They begin to believe their own hype. Damn, I must be God. Damn, 
I must be divine. Damn, I'm a bad Negro. Damn. And they become corrupt. And instead of working for us, then they turn against you for their own self-enrichment. That's what you see happen. So July the 7th, probably, it's being reported that Brother Polite is supposed to plead guilty to some form of sexual assault against a child. So that makes him a pedophile. And Brother Polite is associated with Dr. Malachi York, who is a convicted pedophile who is in prison, sentenced the rest of his life. That should tell us something. Student and teacher. Pedophiles. And the mind boggling thing about all this. This man. Is supposed to be a polygamist. You got four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, twenty 10, 20 women or whatever. But you still. Have to rape a little girl. Woo. We should be the ones to judge this one. But. We have no power because we don't we don't want no power. We laugh at what we call the Mississippi campaign. We want no power, no influence. So everything about us is going to be in the hands of other folks. Now, what's bringing them joy is the recent, not acquittal, but the prosecutor in the state of California has decided to drop all charges against Riza Islam. <laughs> All right. Oh, praise due to Allah for the honor of Elisha Muhammad. Oh, praise Allah. Oh, thank God. Thank God because Riza Islam is such a righteous man. Well, let's, let's see how righteous these people are. Those of you who have really, you're not prejudiced, you, you have been following this case for a while. And just to make a long story short, for me, because I am familiar with the court system and I'm pretty good at this because I've been a victim and I've had to fight. I've, I've filed my own papers for myself and other people. I have an idea of how these things was going to turn out. Um, my thoughts about Brother Polite is that he's caught up. I don't know how he's going to wiggle out of it, but you gotta you get a good lawyer and you can make things happen, but it's just so much against Brother Polite I felt as though uh, he's going to have to try to make a plea, plea deal or gamble and, and gamble with a jury. And gambling with a jury, you're a black man too, and a 14-year-old girl is involved and you have this, ah, I don't know. I think making a plea so you can be sure of what you what's going to happen to you might have been the best choice. Now, in the case of Riza Islam. Go ahead, Riza. Riza, I already expected, I expected that he would also plea. And if he pled, he'd get little or nothing. Or and so the charge is just totally dismissed. It's all about money too. The, the prosecutor decided, I'm we're not gonna waste my time. We're not gonna spend the money. Because, see. This is, this is the thing about Riza Islam. His mother was dying from cancer. And she took the hit. She took the blame. And took the pressure off the sisters. And took the pressure off Riza Islam. So you go to court. You try to take the sisters or him to court like that. And the mother is taking all the blame. You're going to have an uphill battle trying to, and you're going to have to find evidence to really prove your case. And this one is very, very difficult to, to, to do. And also expensive. So the prosecutor just decided, nah, I ain't. and plus it's a bunch of Negro. They stole the money basically from poor black people. So who gives a damn? Let them go. Let them go steal some more. And so they let them go. Oh, they forget it. And he's, oh, 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 oh. He's sniggling and giggling. I, 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 I beat that one. No, your mother sacrificed herself because she knew she was dying. If Riza Islam's mother 
was not dying, it would probably be a whole different ball game. But since I, she, she knows she's dying, she took the hit. She took the fall. Now, some of you will be happy. Oh, you just a hater. Uh, that's a shame that you, uh, what a brother told me uh, this morning, uh, you just one of them guys that hate black people. I hate black people that steal from other black folks. That lie, cheat, and steal. How does Rizzi Islam and his family make their money? Like Eric Muhammad said, talk black to me. How do they make their money? Go ahead. He's living up. What job do Rizzi Islam have? Who's paying his lawyer fees? To my knowledge, he, he, don't, he doesn't have a public defender. How is, how, is he, how is he living? How does he pay his electric bill, water bill, cable bill, internet bill, gas bill? He's living off that, those millions of dollars, thousands of dollars that his family stole. That's how he's living. That's how he's making his money. That's how he's surviving. And he's part of the Firecon crew. How are these people? They don't have a job. How they they still in scamming from the people. They don't have no, no job. They either begging the people or they put a, it's a scam. And a lot of them we don't even know nothing about. You run in your mouth and you don't even know what's going on. Because they are divine. They are divine and special and righteous. You're a damn liar. In this case, I don't mind that you make me a liar. I don't want to view people like that. I want people to be righteous. I want people to be good for us. But the reality is, and in my experience, that's not the case. You're dealing with scammers. Charlatans. Quack selling you all kinds of weeds and weeds and for, for medicine and telling you all this fantastic little stuff and you just giving your money because they sell you just to make you feel good. So what is Rizzi Islam job? What is his sister's job? Where they work at? How they make their money? What business they run? Their, their money, how they make their money, and how they, how they have made their money is through scamming. Exploiting the, I guess you could call it the welfare system of the state of California. That's what they have been doing for the last 10 years. If I'm incorrect, I don't mind. You can show, I'll be happy. You don't hurt my feelings to prove me wrong. I don't want I don't want Brother Polite guilty. I don't want Rizzo Islam and his family guilty. But I'm not biased. I see things. They don't impress me. All that fancy talk and the blackity black talk. All that, that don't mean nothing. I see you exactly for who you are. I already been through that. I started to see when I was a young person, Louis Farrakhan was nothing, was grandiose. Nothing but a scam. He was only looking out for himself. You ain't gonna scam me. My condition is not changing, and I'm helping Farrakhan. Farrakhan getting richer. My condition, damn, share what they said, share the damn wealth a little bit. They don't give you nothing. It's all about them. It's all about them. We should get tired of this. And then we look stupid. It's not over for Rizzi Islam just because those charges. It just makes you happy temporarily. But really, you are the one. And the people are the ones. You are the ones going to get it because a scammer, a criminal is a criminal. And they're using the blackity black to rip you off. No more, no less. You can keep believing whatever you want to believe. And that's why you, you cannot progress. Because your faith is in criminals. You get what you pay for. Nothing. 